Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth. Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a collective haul of garage sales, thrift sales, and one or two actually new items, which I'm going to go ahead and start with those first since they are definitely in the minority. The first thing I got that I am absolutely loving and I've been using constantly is a new phone and a new case. My old phone started to shoot craps and I just buy the prepaid ones from uh, Walmart for my T-Mobile plan, so it's really inexpensive, but I got a really cute new pink case. It's got the little kickstand and the crystals, and I'm absolutely in love with it, even though I don't really consider myself a pink crystal-y girl. I really love it. So there is my first thing. My second thing is kind of banal, but it is very much needed. It is a new face moisturizer lotion that I picked up at Marshall's on clearance. It's from Skin Blossom. It's 90% organic, and I've really been liking it, although finding it, if I ever want to replace it, is going to be difficult because shipping is exorbitant. It's from England apparently. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy that while I have it. And then my little treat, and I am so excited and I was really happy. I've been looking for a nice mix between a highlighter and a blush, and I settled on the classic MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I was looking at the Becca Beach Tints and the Becca Skin Perfectors, and those are a little bit more intense and expensive than I wanted to go right now. So I found this at one of the cosmetic makeup outlets that are you know, not the not the knockoff ones, the actual ones that get the product. Um, and this was bizarrely marked down 23-something to 22-something to then like 21-something. So I got it for a good price for a mineralized skin finish. And I really, really wanted one and I love the color of it. It's just like a beautiful little, it looks like a planetary surface. It's got gold flecks. It's kind of like a rosy, bronzy gold, but it's very light. I have it on my cheeks today. I've kind of been wearing it as an intermediary blush highlighter glowing face powder thing and I just love it. I've also used it as eyeshadow and I think it's very versatile and for the price it cannot be beat given that you can wear it six different ways. So really, really, really happy about that and if I can get it back in the packaging that will be even better. Then for my thrift store find, I was so excited about these. A few years back I actually looked for them on eBay and I couldn't find anything that was a price I wanted to pay and then I walked in and found them brand new, actually vintage, all leather, for $3 at my thrift store. I love saddle shoes. I used to have pairs of these when I was a little kid. I'm apparently going back to fashion that I loved as a child and have not outgrown after, you know, two some decades. So I'm really enjoying these. Um, they were really uncomfortable until I started to break them in. I love them. They're perfect. I can't wait to style them. If you follow my channel, you'll probably see these in an upcoming lookbook or on Instagram. Really happy about these. Now for the garage sale finds. I hit the mother load this weekend. First thing I got is a... Pure Collection 100% Cashmere is just a plain cream cashmere sweater, but it feels like butter, and it was like $2.75, so like $2.75. So really liked that. You can't beat the price, and even if I just wear it around the house, it's warm as all get out and so comfortable. And the other thing I got, and may or may not look cute, I'm not putting it on right now, is a little like ski hat for a screamer Aspen. I don't know. I don't ski. Um, I pretty much try to avoid snow whenever possible. White, that was cute, and I think it was like a dollar. So, really excited to wear that, even though I'm not so excited about the weather. And then this kind of matches it. I'm not sure if I like this on me. It's a Neiman Marcus 100% cashmere sweater. Again, cream. I bought nothing but cream sweaters this weekend. And I think this one was $2.50. So, <laughs> you really can't beat the price. And it really matches that hat if I decide to keep it. Again, really warm, really comfy. I thought the little black X's were really cute. There's one that needs to be repaired, but pff, no big deal. There's that one. And then this one is a J. Crew. Again, another cream sweater. I was not kidding about the whole cream sweater. This one's just a cotton knit hoodie sweater. With sweater, sweater. I thought this would be really cute to just throw on with leggings or jeans and go garage selling, basically. It's just a cute, slouchy, kind of half lazy day, but I'm going out in public and I don't want to look like total crap, but I still want to be comfortable. I like a lot of clothes like that. So this again was like three bucks. So really looking forward to wearing that. And I can't avoid J. Crew. It's like in my blood. I have to have it. I hone in on it whenever I see it somewhere. It is a Cabela's for women 100% pure wool made in Ireland fisherman sweater. I wanted a cream fisherman sweater for years. My Pinterest board is decorated with them throughout. And this one's a really nice one because it's not so wide. It doesn't mean it looks like I'm a large polar bear. It goes down more than it goes out. So I'm actually thinking I'm going to wear it kind of like a large sweater dress with some leggings or pixie pants. And it just looks like that. It's still a little bulky, but that is the nature of the beast. So really like that. Can't wait to try and store all those. I have an entire box of goodies. I told you, I had some other lid. So, 
First thing on the top of the box is a pair of brand new work boots. They are waterproof. They were $5 at a garage sale. They are earth shoe. Um, yeah, they're really nice. They had a pair of light icy blue suede Timberlands. I wanted so passionately, but they weren't my size. They're like a men's eight, which I cannot wear. So that was disappointing, but these are nice. I do, it may not look like it, but I actually do a lot of construction work. I do a lot of yard work and I do need some new work boots. My old pair of Timberlands I outgrew years ago and I've never replaced. So this is a really nice pair of work boots. Not very stylish, but actually quite practical. <laughs> Another thing on the practical level is actually a egg thing to make poached eggs. If you like poached eggs like I do, this is possibly your best friend. They're really cheap and expensive, so I picked up an extra one. I already had one. But these things are amazing for making poached eggs. Really random, but I like it. It's healthy, it tastes good, and these really help make it easy. Um, then a cute pair of little tights. They're like a plaid tartan. They were 25 cents, and I thought these would be adorable for the holiday season. Although, God, my legs look short in comparison to that. So, anyway. They're really cute. I actually like some of the cream sweaters. Maybe I'll wear the fisherman sweater with these for like Christmas Eve or something. I think they're really cute. Then the last fashion-y item I think I have is a pair of Cole Haan driving shoes. I love Cole Haan. They're like my favorite shoe brand. And when you find them for a dollar at a garage sale, you can't pass them up. And these are really great. I actually do like driving shoes. Um, I don't like driving in high heels or anything, so I usually will switch to a pair of shoes with a good sole to drive. So I really like them. And they're just like a bronze buckled leather. It's really pretty. They need a little bit of like polishing around the toe area, but for a dollar they can't be beat, even if I just wear them in the car to drive. Next thing I got, which I really didn't need just yet, uh, I don't have any place to have them, to put them up, but I absolutely love them, are light switch covers. They were a dollar for four of them, and they just look like this. They were like a crossed hatch with pearlescent. I thought they were really pretty, and they'd be fun in a bathroom or something. You know, it's not like these are so bulky they can't be stored, so... Now this was a fortuitous break. Uh, I go through headphones like most people go through breakfast foods and yeah so I had just literally kind of started to really break my previous pair of over-the-ear headphones the day before when I found a nice pair of white Sony's at the garage sale. These were three bucks. Which I love over-the-ear style. It's pretty much all I wear. Which way is back? Which way is front? This is what I'm going to look like. This is what I wander around looking like. So yeah I love these. They even match my new phone really well because I'm girly enough to care about that. So got another one of my little cars. I've talked about this in videos before. I collect model cars. Not seriously, just I love them. I also collect model shoes, if you can see them. Those are just my little things. So I got a, another one. This was a dollar, and I love it. It's a really nice, it's a nice model. It's not cheap. It's like metal die cast. The doors open and close. The steering wheel moves. And the wheels move. Y'all don't care about that. Um, this is a Cadillac 1932 Phelan V 16 Again, you don't care about that. But I think it's really cute and I like decorating them. And I got the same house the week before, this Packard. So, yes, moving right along to something you might be interested in. This was an exciting find for no one but me. But I got three boxes of tea light. I put them in here. I have a Halloween decoration that they go inside of. And when I went to TJ Maxx to buy them new, they were nine for five dollars or twenty four for like seven dollars and I didn't want to spend that much but when I found them at the garage sale I got three boxes almost two of them are brand new one's lemon used really a few of them there are twelve in a box I got these for like a dollar for all of them yes thank you please go garage sale then you will see this in either a upcoming thrift haul or when it's already been posted I don't know which one's going up first but I got a witch's hat for Halloween that's very similar to this and I wanted one for Hall for Christmas and I found one and I was so excited. This is a little um, candle thing. So you put the little tea light candle, like the ones I just bought, in this and it glows and it shines out through it. And this is just the cutest little gingerbread house and I love it. And my Christmas decorations are all like pastels and glitter and vintage Victorian and fashion and food. So a lot of dessert themes in there. So this is going to fit in perfectly. It can go right where the witch's hat is and cast the pretty little lights. And it was a grand total of 50 cents. This was originally from Kohl's and was originally $30.00 without coupons and stuff. Oh, where'd you come from? I got a cute pair of turquoise um, cufflinks. I love these and they were 50 cents. I'm going to put these on a shirt or DIY them into earrings or something else. I got a gorgeous New York Public Library collector's edition copy of the Custom of the Country. 
I love Edith Wharton books. I have read a list of her most famous books. I thought this was a gorgeous one and I love the pink stripes and the cream and the silver. It couldn't look more any more like me if it tried. And again, for 50 cents, I was like, huh, yes, I'm wearing to the checkout. And then the last thing I got was a Stowing Silver Cowboy Boot Charm, which I wear cowboy boots. So it was 25 cents. One of our family friends did a trip around the West and apparently at all the iconic um, tourist spots, they have these little silver charms. This one was from Virginia City, Nevada. So thought that was really cute. Never been to Virginia City, Nevada, but I liked the cowboy boot and it was shine silver. Now all of this I found in a free box. So I'm going to try to power speed through this just to show you guys because the free box is kind of my favorite thing. Um, this is a little travel sized cutting board which I'm going to disinfect, don't worry. And I take this when I like do picnics in the summer and things like that. It's perfect. And this I think I'm going to put on a Christmas tree which it says water those seeds, pull the weeds. Again for free. Adorable. This was just a cute little hand painted plate from the Blue Harbor collection. I don't know but it was free and I thought that would be adorable to have like with a cookie and hot cocoa for Christmas time or you know a snack but hand painted for free I'm taking it I'm, I have no shame I'm good with that it's just a little tin you know for gift cards or something in the holidays I thought it's cute though and free yes please it's actually an adorable little sign that says fishing which I'm not really a fishing girl on a, a frequent enough basis that I want to sign promoting it but I thought I'd either paint over this side or paint this side with something holiday-ish because the little block of wood and the twine was kind of cute and then the last things I got are again to decorate with. This may not be everyone's cup of tea, but I think they're really cool. Uh, the first thing is a pair of antique gardening shears. <laughs> it was free. I think it's cool. I'm probably not going to put these out right now, but when I have my own place somewhere that has a spot for them, I will put them out as a decorative either in like a garden room, bedroom area or something. I don't know. That's just something to be cool or up on a wall or something. And then the last things I got, which I probably will decorate with now, are... <laughs> Nobody's going to understand this this decision. I think it's really awesome. They are old hose, like, turning things. What are these called? <laughs> Handles? Whatever. They're like old antique ones. And they're like banged up and rusty and orange and blue. And I'm going to go put them out in my pink girly room somewhere and decorate with them. Because I have other things. I have the prong off of a back lift. Like the metal prong off a back lift. I just like decorating with architectural stuff. It's like metal and Anyway, moving right along, those are my last ones for today. I hope you guys enjoy this crazy haul that is very me. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys soon. If